This is a very interesting barometer problem. It states, figure A shows the vertical height of mercury in a barometer located on the shore of an unspecified area. Figure B shows the same barometer at a depth of 2 meters below water in that same area. The vertical height of the barometer in this scenario is most close to what? All right, so it's looking for the vertical height of the barometer, which is denoted with the H, when it's two meters below water. So there's some things we have been given in this uh, problem, but there's also some things that we are missing. We can't just assume that we're in standard atmospheric pressure um, conditions, which I'm telling you right now that the NCS does know that you're going to assume that, even though it doesn't say that anywhere in the problem or um, even even point, our, point us towards that um, assumption. But it does give us the height of the barometer, of the bar uh, mercury column in the barometer, gives us a specific gravity of the mercury, it tells us that the vapor pressure above the mercury is in vacuum. So what we can do is actually pull over our general formula for a barometer, which is P atmospheric. So atmospheric pressure is equal to the vapor pressure plus the specific weight of the mercury times the height of the mercury. So in this problem, we're going to go ahead and start with figure A because we got to determine what the atmospheric pressure is. The, uh, the problem states that the barometer is located on the shore of an unspecified area. For all we know, this is on Mars. This is somewhere. And uh, it doesn't really tell us anything other than it's an unspecified area. So we got to confirm what the atmospheric pressure is. It may be 101 kPa like we're always accustomed to, or it might not be. So we got to start with figure A because it's given us enough information to determine what the atmospheric pressure is. So we're given the height of the mercury column at 0.75 meters. We're given um, that uh, we, we don't know the atmospheric pressure, but we do know that the uh, vapor pressure is a vacuum, so it's uh, 0 kPa. We also know that from our previous problem that the specific weight of mercury is 133,416. So if we didn't already work that out in a previous problem, I would have just used the specific weight to specific gravity relationship like we've been doing throughout this session and determine that. But I just pulled that information forward. So plugging this into our general formula, we have a formula as you see right there below figure A. And we find that atmospheric pressure is 100,062 pascals. So it's actually a little bit lower than atmospheric pressure, but this is definitely a piece of information that we needed to determine what the height of that mercury would be in our second scenario. So let's hop over to figure B. Now we've taken that same mercury barometer. We're dropping it down two meters of water in this same unspecified area. And we need to determine what the height is of that mercury. So we don't know the height. We do know the atmospheric pressure is 100,062 pascals, which we just, just determined. And we also know that the weight of the, the, the weight that is uh, of the water column is equal to the specific weight of water times the height, which is two meters. Specific weight is 9810. So we get a pressure at the top of the uh, mercury in the uh, basin or the larger limb, whatever you would like to refer to it as, at 19,620 pascals. Now looking at our general solution, we know that we have to start at the surface of the water, which is at atmospheric pressure. We need to go down a certain distance, two meters, and add that pressure that is developed by the water column, by the depth of the water. And that's going to equal the specific weight, sorry, the vapor pressure, which is still a vacuum, plus the specific weight of mercury times whatever height that is. So we have all the information we need. We're going to plug in that information 
we're going to isolate for h, and we find that the height is going to be equal to 1.11 meters, or 111 centimeters.